Hello. We're gonna do some EFT tapping on parenting. Oh, parenting those teenagers. All right. We're gonna start with a conception vessel. We're gonna karate chop the hand for beginners. Here we go. We start, just tap your hands. You can do kind of your four fingers tapping the side of your hand. You could do it kind of a wider stance, but it's really about hitting the side of your hand like a karate chop, kind of just waking it up. Feel into the body, presence all your feelings, unconditional love to your body. I love and accept myself just the way I am. I accept myself as a mother. I accept myself as a beautiful human being, as a child of God, I am accepted. I accept myself. I see myself just as I am. I'm not suppressing anything. I'm gonna feel what I feel holistically and true. I'm gonna be honest with myself and be courageous to really feel how I really feel. We're gonna start going through the, the meridian points. So these are acupuncture points that have really been studied and to do this EFT tapping. So we're going to start with the the top of the the third eye is the do we start after we do this? We're going to start third eye. So we just tap. We can do one hand for this one. Sometimes we do two hands. It only really needs to have to be one hand, but um parenting is really hard. I feel so stressed out. Oh, it's so stressful being a parent of a teenager. Next, we're gonna move to the temples. You can do just one hand or you can do both. I like to do both. Oh my God, parenting a teenager. is so brutal now we're going to move under the eye <sighs> i have all these stresses if i'm doing it right i feel like a failure half the time because i don't know what i'm doing it brings up every issue i have in my own body now under the, under the nose, right above the lip, in that little groove that you have in your nose and you're under your nose. <sighs> this is also a Marma point. This one's really, this is like a central nervous system here. All these points are really gonna harness your, your energy. <sighs> Parenting a teenager makes me face every issue I have. As an adult, all the unfinished business, all the anxieties, fears, trying to teach my teenager, who is a, a wild thing, trying to find their ways, brings out every single feeling I have as um, my unresolved issues and We'll move down to the chin. I feel like imposter syndrome. I feel like, how am I supposed to teach my child things that I don't even know how to do myself? Or, you know, even my best stuff doesn't seem to work, you know? Um, I feel like a failure. I feel like a failure. I love my child so much but I don't feel like I measure up to what I want to be, what I, how I want to show up, how I do things. Um, God, this feeling is just, I want to give my child the world. A giant sundae with the ice cream and chocolate syrup and sprinkles and a cherry on top. I want to give my child everything and I don't feel like I can ever do enough. So now we move to the chest. I love my child so much. 
and I'm really worried about them. <sighs> with the state of the world today, with teen suicide, with depression, with drugs, with sex, parenting a child, a teenage child, a teenage child is scary. And my heart breaks for what they might, they might do, they might happen, reality. The reality of, of parenting a teen teenager. Oh, my heart hurts. My body hurts. <sighs> the sadness, the grief, the fear, the fear is like a knot in my stomach. This oh, pain and hurt is so intense and I don't know what to do. So now we're gonna go under the arm about the bra level. And tap on the side. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like a failure. I feel like a fraud. I give everything I can try. I, I try everything. And I fear it's not enough. I feel like my best is not good enough. And that makes me really sad. It makes me feel powerless. It makes me feel worthless as a mother. In the top of the head. Being a mother is super hard. It is the hardest job on this planet. Not running a CAO company and not... God the million jobs in this world that we get paid for, being a parent, the emotions, the sincere turmoil that goes on in our heads, especially as women, being a mother, and the hormones, the changes, the, the bond that we have with our babies, the babies that we grew in our stomachs and that we've been so close to and and feeding them and changing their diapers and watching them grow up and walking watching them walk their hand you know walk their first steps and and now they're starting to bloom into being adults and we want the very best for them we want them to be happy, well-rounded people and have a wonderful, beautiful life. And as mothers, we, we do everything we can, but it doesn't feel like it's enough. Like that's the feeling that I really wanna hone in on this feeling of, it's, it's not gonna be enough. It's not enough, it's not enough. I'm not gonna be able to help her. I'm not gonna be able to help this feeling of, <sighs> inadequacy, failure, this immense pain in my spirit. It's very painful. The fear of the unknown. I'm going to lean into it. This is sincere feelings. This is deep emotions. I can't cover this up anymore. I'm going to walk through it. I'm going to acknowledge myself. And I'm going to grab the hands of all my guardian angels all of my family members that have passed. I'm gonna grab on to every single energy warrior of the light that are here to help me. I'm gonna grab on to Jesus. 
I'm gonna grab on to Muhammad. I'm gonna grab on to Buddha. I'm gonna grab on to all these spirits. I'm gonna open up my, my channel of light, open up my heart, reach out my hand, physically, metaphysically, emotionally, spiritually. I'm opening my, my, my channels. I'm opening my mind, my heart for help and aid. This, this feeling, these energies of, of parenting a teenager are overwhelming. I surrender. I am doing everything I can. I am doing everything I can. And it is enough. It is what I'm doing. I'm going to continue doing the very best I can. I'm going to show up for my kid. I am going to have hard conversations with my kid. I am going to read books. I am going to continue showing up the very best I can. And that is good enough. I am a wonderful mother. I love my child so much. Compassion is not something artificial for me. I really love my child. I'm calling on all the powers that be. Jesus Christ and all the guardian angels and all of the ascended masters, everyone, I need your help. I can't do this on my own. I need you to come help me be the best parent I can be. Rise me up. Help me teach my child. Help me love my child unconditionally. Help me be the parent she needs me to be. Help me forgive myself. I choose to honor myself and how I feel and my fears and my anxieties and everything I feel. Even though it's really hard, these emotions are, are daunting. I'm gonna lean into faith. I'm gonna lean into the fact that everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. Everything is exactly where it needs to be, even if I don't understand it. I don't understand all the ways that God works. I don't understand all the karma. I don't understand all the divine right timing that is planned out and laid out, but I'm going to trust in it anyways. Even though I don't understand, I don't have all the answers. I wish I knew. I wish I could connect, connect every dot and know that my child is safe and healthy and well. I'm going to let go of this control because I know the one who has the real power and that is God. That energy is loving. God doesn't have grandchildren. He's going to work directly with me and he's going to work directly with my child. I can trust in this energy even though it's really painful and I'm still experiencing a wide range of emotions. I can choose higher love. I can choose to tap into this energy that I sincerely love my child with all that I have, with the sprinkles and, and the cherry on top. I love my child. And God loves me. And God loves my child. We can trust in this process every day that God is with us, God is for us, and he'll never be against us. Everything is working for our good. Everything is divinely right. We are all spirits and beautiful. Me, my child, every mother, every child on this planet. We are all experiencing exactly what we need to experience. 
some of that is really painful. Some of that is that that feelings of inadequacy and fear and, and resentment and anger and, and scared. Oh God, it's so overwhelming. But it helps to know that I'm not alone. I'm not the only mother feeling these feelings. I'm not alone. There's help all around the corner. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. And there's an ultimate power. That power is God. He's here with you. We can lean into him. He sees all that we see. He feels all that we feel. You are not alone. You're a cherished child of God. You are loved and adored. You are enough. You are exactly what your child needs. They need their mother. No one else can do it as much as you can. Just show your child love, unconditional, just compassion. Enjoy your moments together. Do something fun. Go have a picnic. Get your nails done. There's a time to be serious. There's a time for us to really dig deep and heal ourselves because that's going to heal our child. So the other, I'm going to call up courageous, courageous. I'm going to really be courageous and face these fears and face my anxieties and know that God's with me to do this and I'm not alone. There's other moms to help me. There's other people to do this with me. God is love. Love for me, love for my child. I am not alone. I am protected. I am cherished. I am loved. I am courageous. I'm going to keep showing up to the very best of my ability. And God is going to back me up. Just feel your heart. Take some deep breaths. I'm going to close out with a prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, touch these, these mothers. Touch these children. Each and every one of us. Lord, you hear us. You know us. Give us courage and strength, Lord, where we feel weak. Lord, lift us up to be the very best mothers we can be. Let us enjoy our moments that we have. Let us be the best parent. Let us help our children in every way they need. Lord, let us show up. Let us find help. Let us be exactly where we need to be. Let us trust in you. Let us trust in you more than we have before. Let us show shine your light on the deepest parts of our soul that feels like we have to just be strong and let us be vulnerable with you lord where you can really cherish these feelings and cherish our minds and lift us up let us lift lift us up lord let us be the highest version of ourselves inspire us help us find the right action where we need to take let us just come before you Give us strength. Help our children come into their lives, come into our lives, our whole entire family. Connect us, strengthen us, give us what we need. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Reach out if you need me. Namaste.